Hello everybody and welcome back to another quick Minecraft tutorial. Today I have for you a trick to create permanently powered redstone lamps. Now of course you can do this with a redstone block or something a little bit smaller like a lever. However these have quite a visible shape to them which isn't good if you want your power source to be more discreet. So with this alternative you can just about see the hitbox of a pressed in pressure plate and you can also see an arrow tail as well. And if we fly above we can clearly see the pressure plate however from down below it is barely visible. So a great practical use for this would be to create street lamps. You can see here the arrow and pressure plate are barely visible in comparison to the lever making it look much nicer. So before we start this tutorial I'd like to say thank you to Mini Warboss who is a player on my server. He discovered this and shared it with me so I could make a video for you guys and share it with the community. So leave a comment for him and show him some love. Now to build this all you need is an arrow, a dispenser, a redstone lamp, a button and then one of these three pressure plates. So start off by placing down your redstone lamp and then put a dispenser facing into it and then put a button on the side of the dispenser, an arrow in it and then a pressure plate on top of the redstone lamp. Then activate the dispenser, the arrow is going to fire into the block, activate the pressure plate and that is all there is to it. So how does this work? Well the truth is I don't even know. The arrow is stuck inside of the block and for some reason that triggers the pressure plate on top of it. Now you can walk next to where the arrow is and you won't be able to pick it up. You can jump on top of the pressure plate and it doesn't change and it appears that the arrow can't even despawn so it's going to stay this way forever. Now you can even log out and log back in again and it stays the same but best of all when you remove the lamp you get your arrow back. So that is it for this Minecraft tutorial, if you have enjoyed it please do leave a like and if you're looking for more quick tutorials there is a link to the playlist on the screen and in the description box. But as always thank you very much for watching and I will catch you next time.